exclusive outtake from their hit movie shows. So then, Harry, would you like to grab a beer after all this here hard singing we've been doing? Oh, Niall, I'd absolutely love to. But, uh, you remember when we arrived, there was that woman selling concert tickets. The one you had sex with at lunchtime, Harry. <laughs> Yes. But next to her was that woman selling T-shirts. The one you had sex with at tea time, Harry. Yeah. But behind both of them, there was a woman. Oh, the one you had sex with while I was in the cubicle next door. Doing a poo. <laughs> Precisely, my feeble-minded Irish friend. But behind all of them was a woman from Uganda who was taking out the bins. And I haven't made love to her yet, so if you'll excuse me. I'll... Soft light. Who is this bewitching creature? Forget all others, I must have her. Well, what about your Ugandan bin lady, Harry? I don't know, Niall. I've never felt this way before. I think. Taylor Swift makes me not want to have sex with random women anymore. Oh, Jesus, Harry! You sound feeling yourself! Goodbye, Niall. Think well of me. Oh, where are you going, Harry? To monogamy! Within weeks, Taylor had also swiftly... Sorry, fallen for Harry, leaving some people slightly disappointed. You know, it's like really, really early days, and like I don't want any no jinx it or anything, but I'm pretty much 100% sure I didn't waste any money on this wedding dress. Can, can you see enough of my legs in this? I tried to warn her about it, but would she listen? No! I tried to tell her that there are loads of guys who would have been far more suitable for her who she gets on really well with, and I don't know, maybe wrote her a duet? But no! No one wants to listen to Ed Sheeran, do they? Damn this ginger hair! I guess, like, the one really good thing to come out of all this heartbreak is that, like, I can use it and channel it into my songs. Like, it's really personal to me, so, like, no one would know who I was talking about. But, like, when I broke up with Taylor Lautner from Twilight, I, like, completely coincidentally wrote, Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you werewolf fell and you can fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, you werewolf fell and and it may really surprise people to learn that it's actually my ex-boyfriend Zac Efron who is the inspiration behind the song. The dude from High School Musical, whose name begins with a Z, has got a surprisingly small dick, and he doesn't know what to do with it. And then, of course, there was my breakup with Jake Gyllenhaal. That one I just call Sister Fucker. But sadly, Harold Styles, as nobody has ever called him, was to join that list of very famous exes. And who was left picking up the pieces? Old Muggins here. Good old, not gonna cheat on you, Ed Sheeran. Good old, writes all his own songs, unlike some people I could mention, and he's got a bloody Ivan Novello or to prove it, Ed Sheeran. Good old, she said looks weren't important, but every time I invite her out, she brings along a friend, even though I clearly stated that the restaurant booking was for two people, Ed Sheeran. Damn this ginger hair, and fuck you, Harry Styles. I'm really sad it didn't work out. But all credit to dear Taylor, she really taught me a lot. Mostly, the girls don't like it when you go out with them and you have a lot of sex with other people. <laughs> Who knew? I just hope I don't make it into one of her songs. I was a tad worried when she released... I wish I'd bone that cuddle Who I still can't believe you came third to Just yours means a different Mac cuddle, so uh, good luck to her. Do you like apples? Harry Styles, do you? Hey, yeah? Well, how'd you like them apples? Yeah, she picked me, Harry Styles. She picked me. Fuck you, Harry Styles. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and that's...